We are back. Welcome to the desert. Welcome to the Duncan Lodge. We are here. And, uh... Let me get my controller to work. There we go. Uh, should we get the ATV? Uh, we're gonna skip the ATV. We are in one of my favorite regions. The desert. I love the desert. I've hunted New Mexico twice now. One time for turkey, one time for pronghorn. And uh, happy to play in the game. Alright, we got our two, two big horn sheep tags over the counter. Two desert muleys and two pronghorn tags. It's going to be fun. Let's, uh, regulations. I think it's the same regulations for every place, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go to the store. And, uh, I feel, I feel, you know, we got $8,900. I feel loaded. Let's just, uh, start buying guns. <laughs> what? 30 out 6 semi-auto. Oh, man. I might. I don't know, between that and the 270. Just buy everything. It's everything, everything. Antelope call. Uh, yeah, let's let's start throwing corn. Just buy everything. Just gonna buy everything. Tree stand, yep, tripod stand, ground blend. We gotta use this money for something, right? Lightweight desert, lightweight forest. So yeah, now we couldn't buy the full cover forest. That's why I'm just gonna buy everything. Just gonna have everything. We're gonna have, we're gonna have plenty of money. We, we cleaned out the store. We only got $1,500 left, but we cleaned out the store. Okay. Equipment. Let us put on... Lightweight orange. Perfect. Let's use... Now, should I use the 270? Or should I use the... The semi-auto. <laughs> I, I, I think I, I want to use the semi-auto. So, so, so the, my 270 that I just sold was a Browning BAR in 270. So here we have a... Wait, here we have a 270. Weighs 7 pounds. And here we have a Browning BAR. <laughs> And 30 out 6. I was not expecting this dilemma. You know what? You know what? We're going with the beer. And uh, I'm going to put the new scope on it. Boom. I'm going to leave this scope. I might bring this. We're not going to need the predator call. We might need... We're not going to need that. I don't think we're going to need any call. On this one. I think these are wide open enough that uh, we're not really going to need any of this gear. Yeah, I think I think we'll be in good shape. Hmm. I feel like we're in the orange for safety. Let's put this like this is the proper you know what? No, let's do it. There we go. All right, let's let's rest. It's two p.m. Okay. Let's go set in our rifle. Let's save.
And let's go sight in our, our new rifle. Oh yeah, we got there. I took my BAR to New Mexico last month, and uh, I left it there. I gave it to my guide. I'm gonna have the same sighting in. There we go. Reloads a little bit faster. I I I, uh, I sold it to my guide because just for the hunting that I do over here, it's not very practical. It's heavy, and uh, I want something a little newer. So I bought a CVA Cascade and a 6.5 Creed, more modern cartridge. Everybody loves to hate on 6.5 Creed more, but I mean, I I, I kind of understand some some 6.5 Creed more owners are a little obnoxious. All right, let's get on some desert bighorns. Um, I love that you could just go into the into the into the lodge and buy them for 200 bucks in real life to draw bighorn sheep tags. It's like once in a lifetime. It's next to impossible. If you're looking for game, find the man-made lakes. I found a game right here. Oh wow! I got, I got, I got juked by the cactus. Is that a male? Oh, a male. These, these are kind of easy. I see it from far away. There's one man may lick. Little watering holes. But yeah, drawing sheep tags. At least here in the in the lower 48. Very difficult. You gotta like put in like a lottery. Very difficult to draw tags. A mail. You have to put in for many, many, many years. Headshot. I only go for headshots in video games. And then I have two tags. Drawing two tags is even harder. So yeah, drawing them in lower 48. Um, very difficult. Drawing them in Alaska is not hard at all. Drawing them in Canada. Um, you could actually just pay for one. Same thing in that Mexico. One goes on the high scores. I think in Mexico and in Canada, we're going for like 60000 Like an all-included sheep hunt with a... Uh... Riptorn Valley is about to have a hunting tournament. Perhaps you'd like to participate. Maybe we will. Like with 60000 that's that's included. That includes tags. That includes, you know, fully outfitted hunt. But that's, you know, imagine paying 60000 That's like... It's like the price of a new truck. Oh, now nah, was a bad shot. I didn't think it was gonna turn right there. It's a very small map. What I like about the desert is there's not as much fog. So you can see. You can see a pretty long ways away. Female. Yeah. 
There's the male. Oh, there's the female. Is that a fox? Looks like a fox. There's the mail. Oh, another headshot. <laughs> Not exactly what I want to do, but that's what happened. But yeah, I fell in love with New Mexico. It's like we would here in Florida I hunt like the thick stuff that we were hunting last episode, but I went to New Mexico on like, yeah, you'll see the game, you know. At least you see the game. Maybe maybe they'll be two miles away, but Compared to hunting back at home, like where, where I might hunt, you know, an entire week and not even see a deer. Just seeing the game is very exciting, in my opinion, at least. Your score has been added to the high scores. Perfect. It's got a rip thorn, rip torn, rip, rip torn. Look at all these sheep. Everybody has told me that it's not a part, they're not particularly hard to hunt. It's just drawing the tags. I mean, and getting to them also is difficult. Yeah, I'm right up to them. But everybody's like, oh yeah, they're kind of dumb. I haven't actually started putting in for the lottery because just to apply, you gotta spend about eight thousand dollars just for like a shot, you know? At applying, I mean, if you don't draw the tags, which you're very likely not to draw, they return most of that money back. But it's still a lot of money to have tied up for like three months, you know? Torn Valley. Oh, we got killed two. We got killed two of them. Probably even three of them. Welcome. Are you interested in participating in the tournament? The goal is to take one 10 by 11 desert mule deer before 6 p.m. Good. 7 millimeter magnum. The hunting tournament. Do you want to end? Let's kill that 10 by 11. It's a monster. Did he kill the right one? <laughs> oh, what was that? What was that? <laughs> Two, one second into the, one second into the tournament. <laughs> I want another shot. That was that wasn't fair. One second into the tournament, he pulls out his gun and whacks it. Millimeter magnum. Jack Rabbit. Doe. Ah, my best mouse. Oh. 
though. one goes on the high scores list. Congratulations. That was a far shot, too. I don't like the sound millimeter mag. Drops too much. A new firearm has been on... Thanks, but no thanks. Alright, let's go... Let's go hunt now for ourselves. Let's go back to where we saw those all those muleys better done. What's up with this fog? Ninety eight degrees Fahrenheit. It's desert hunting for you. This is the Browning BR. It's even got the prong horn on the side and everything. It's a very common engraving on those. Good wins. So four by five. So though. Got like three jack rabbits. the stud over there. It's okay. You get it. Tried and true. I, love, I killed the little one, but it's okay. I wish I could shoot one of those giants. I mean, that's a monster right there. A 9 by 10 Muleys are known for just having just giant racks. White tail hunters look at mule deer hunters and it's like, man, that thing is massive. Nice. You do not have a tag. What do you mean I don't have a tag for that animal? Do not do that again. I have a tag right there. Well, that kind of sucked. I'm gonna get my nine by ten. Whatever. Even though after I had already claimed it. If it would have been like one millisecond after, I would have been perfectly fun. Whatever, it is what it is. Let's go get our pronghorn. Our speed goat. Our baneros. I think maybe we go to Mike's line. Shoot some coyotes. I love pronghorn hunting. 
by far the most fun I've had hunting big game. Off of that cliff made me lose my stamina a lot faster. Not quite sure. So prong you over there. No, it's the What is up with this fog? Can I make it? I think I can. Oh, that was bad. I'm all purple now. Not purple, red, orange. I, I know my colors, I promise. You might have to... Oh, it didn't even fully heal me. p.m. at four hours. They're all spread out. Mike Holscher wants to talk to you. We'll go. After I shoot my problem. Speaking of which, where is my problem? This is a big map. It's a really big map. A single one. Oh, somewhere right there. Oh, that's the, the smallest pronghorn ever. Eating the food heal me as well. I'm not hungry. Okay. Suppose. Six euro mail. 100 pounds. Alright. 37. Okay, so it's the length of the horns and the circumference. Your score has been added to the high score. We're already here, so let's just go to Mike's land. 
do whatever Mike wants us to do. And, uh, let me sleep over there. Come on, there we go. Hunt some coyotes. I think it's coyotes. I don't. I don't remember. Wow! If you aren't a blast from the past. Hey, are you a good hunter? I need some coyotes taken off my land. Ow! Let's do it. How many do you want? Hope it doesn't take me all day. Is that okay? So imagine this, these are, they're like the wolves, but they're smaller, but there's no cover. But then also the topography is the pain. And they, are they in a pack or are they all spread out? Coyotes are tricky. Sometimes they're in packs. A lot of times they're by themselves. They're not like wolves. Wolves generally stay together. Yotes are a little bit more solitary. Man, these uh, run some marathons, man. He's gassed out. I haven't seen any oats. There's gotta be three of them. I mean, just like every other place, but. Look at that rendering. It's like looking for a needle and a stack of needles. Oh, 
Oh, they're fast. They're super fast. Why can't you run fast like the coyotes, Mr. Hunter? Just run them down. Skyline animals. It's not safe. Well, I'm doing it because it's a video game. There we go. He shot in the head with a 30 out 6. You're gonna tell me that he didn't die? Come on. So it's three. They hide in the thicket and not on the open. So right over there. What's up with this swing? Is it that far of a shot? Still running. <laughs> wow. Can you stop running, please? I don't want to have to take a running shot this far away. she's sensing me from all the way over here does that coyote have like superpowers I mean I'm all the way over here they're fast man they're so fast Oh, that was so close. <laughs> that was too high. Too low and too far in front. 
not too low. I got her glitched out. Too low. Gotta hold just. I gotta hold like just a hair above the nose. Not too high. Oh, she stopped. <laughs> She turned around. There we go. Right in the back hip. We are done. We did it. We got a thousand dollars for shooting three three dogs. You gotta pay for that kind of. Uh... Let's see, it's four o'clock. Let's see if we can knock it out before six. Pronghorn, actually, after the cheetah, they are the second fastest land mammal on the planet. And they are the fastest land mammal in North America. That's what I call them speed goats. I don't know what it is with Cabela's on having like thick center of the crosshair. I like I like my my crosshairs to be really thin. I don't see the point of it being thick for but then just to be a handicap. I don't I don't like it. So they're so fast I didn't even see them run. She's gonna get it. She looks bigger than the male. <laughs> Eleven year old ninety one pounds. I'll take it. How much money do we got now? 4,650. We made like three grand. Let's go. We did it. All right, guys. Well, we did. Uh, we did the first desert lodge. We'll do. Uh, we'll do the second one on the on the next episode. See it.